annoys me that I have so many thoughts and I don't remember them. Oh yeah, so there's this app called Wish. <laughs> Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Amarelle? Yeah, I'm being a troublemaker. How are we, Riddler? I gotta sniff everything. How are we, Sassy? Old. So, I'm feeling really anxious this morning for no apparent reason. Excuse you, sir. What are you doing? Back, back. Back, back, back. Good boy. Um... Last night was kind of a rough night. I didn't get to sleep till about midnight, and even then, like, had really bad insomnia. Um, brain was also going on with really bad thoughts, so it was not feeling the greatest. My nose is itchy. I'm sorry. Um, and then this morning, I got really irritable at the dogs. That's another thing with my depression that's been happening that I hate is how irritable I am, because I'm not normally irritable. But this time, I am. And that's part of the depression, and it's making me mad. <laughs> Ironically. Um, and now I'm just getting ready to go to work. Feeling anxious about work for really no reason. I mean, it's not going to be any different from any other day. So, there you go. But, yeah. What are you doing, sir? Oh, I see what you're doing. Never mind. And then, probably when I get home later, I'm going to try to work on some stuff for AWA, Anime Week in Atlanta, which is at the end of the month. I've got five cosplays to do. Yay! I'll be doing Yuri Katsuki from Yuri on Ice, Asahi Azume from Haikyuu, Rin Matsuoka from Free Iwatobi Swim Club, uh, the Lemmy Smash Bird, and then a mystery cosplay. Woo! So, now I'm going to Finish getting ready and head off to work, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! There's the boys! Hey, Red Lou. Hey, little brat. You're being a brat today. And hey, I, pretty girl. I love you. So, I am finally actually at the motivation to <coughs> finish vlogging. <coughs> Yay! Riddler! And apparently, Riddler has something to say. Riddler, what would you like to say? Oh, now you're silent. You don't have an opinion? Okay. So, um, what have I done today? I worked. Um, work was kind of slow, but I still made some sales, so yay. Um, and then got lunch with my brother. We went to the thrift store, and I got some pieces for a mystery cosplay I'm making for AWA. Um, they have to be washed right now, but it's basically a vest-looking thing, a gray shirt, and gloves. So... And sometime within this week, I need to work on, I've got two projects to do. One of them is to redo my cloak for the Lebby Smash Bird. And then the other one is part of my mystery cosplay. So I can't explain to you guys what it is. Because I don't want any of my close enough cosplay followers to figure it out. <laughs> um, and here's the dogs. Playing with the comet. That's one of their favorite toys from BarkBox has been that Comet. Any kind of squeaky nubby ball they seem to be in love with. So. What you think, bud? Yeah? Um. I had lots of thoughts. But what are the thoughts? Ah. Oh, yeah. We also went to my god sibling's birthday party tonight. That was good. Um. <sighs> annoys me that I have so many thoughts and I don't remember them. Oh, yeah. So. There's this app called Wish, and if you can hear me over the dogs barking at each other, there we go. So what Wish is, it's this app where you can buy stuff for super cheap, and shipping is like a dollar. It does take longer to get there, but it's cool. So what I got was a pinch collar for Emerel. The links are smaller than I expected, but this fits his neck perfectly. I bought this with shipping was like four dollars. Yeah, for four bucks I got this pinch collar, which at the pet store cost like seventeen. 
and I'm excited to work with him on it. Um, I know a lot of people have different qualms about it being like, oh, it's so abusive. So let me go ahead for those of you. Oh, sorry. There are splinters all over the floor because Emerald decided she wants some wood. Jerk. And our vacuum cleaner is broken. So yeah, I have to live with splinters. So for those of you who don't really know how a pinch collar works, I shall educate you. And nope, I have used a pinch collar before. I used it on a goat. Weird story, I know. Um, but okay, so the pinch collar kind of acts like another dog. So let's say that Riddler and I are dogs. That I'm a dog and Riddler's of course a dog. Hi, bud. So let's say Riddler's acting up. What will a dog do? Come right here and nah, they'll bite them. Sorry, buddy. You didn't do anything. So of course, as humans, it is not really that really make much sense for us to bite our dogs' necks. And of course, you know, our dogs will misbehave. So what do you do as a replacement? Pinch collar. I mean, here, I'll show you guys. Like, people are like, oh, this is very abusive, whatever. Riddler. Come here, Riddler. Would you like to show the pinch collar off? Okay. I'm trying to show you guys, but the dogs are super excited about it. So, if you guys don't know what a pinch collar is, this is what it looks like. It has these rounded ends. And it kind of acts like a martingale. It has this so it can tighten or loosen as needed. And it acts as a dog bite. So if you're walking your dog along and you know, they start to pull, you can just give them a quick jerk with it. And it acts as a dog bite, being like, hey, this you're misbehaving. Of course, a lot of people, they've heard of where people have been abusive with these pinch collars and like seeing where dogs are impaled. So let me show you. So. I just jerked myself 10 times and this is what happened. There's red marks, of course, from where I've been jerking at it. And maybe it'll indent your skin. Now, if I sat here and just pulled on this and pulled on it and pulled on it and kept pulling on it, you know, that could have maybe eventually cut. Which is the problem some people have is that, you know, they don't know how to use these and they end up hurting the dog. Because, of course, with a dog, if another dog bites them on the neck like that you know they're not going to want to keep pulling and pulling and let that pressure keep going they're going to stop so that is how one of these buddies work it acts as a dog bite like what dogs naturally do there are also plastic ones that exist but they aren't as effective so it's a good one for like if you've been starting on this and you want to kind of like downgrade your dog so eventually they don't have to have these at all, the plastic one's a great one to go to. So, yeah. So I'm thinking this will help MRL, especially he pulls a lot. So, and it can also help with behavioral correction because again, like normal dogs, they would bite at each other if they're misbehaving. So, you know, misbehaving, quick little jerk, nothing bad. And as you can see, I am not cut. I am not bleeding. Like here. I will do like one of my friends did in her vlog. Shout out to Slice of Lime, by the way. So I'm going to show you guys on my own neck. Like if this was actually abusive towards a dog, I would not be willing to do this on camera for all of you to see. Okay, link's not completely on, but... So... I mean, it doesn't feel comfortable, obviously. It feel, I feel some sharpness, but it's not cutting into my neck. As you can see, let me turn around. No, not cutting into my neck, nothing bleeding or anything. It just feels uncomfortable. So now you guys are educated in how a pinch collar works. I mean, some people don't like pinch collars, some do. I know the trainer I worked with, he was against pinch collars, but I am for it. As long as you use it responsibly. It's like with any training tool, even a simple collar and leash for a dog can be used inappropriately and cause injury. So that's just something to keep in mind. Hey guys. Dear be to Riddler, dear be to Emerel, and dare be to Sassy. So, 
I FaceTimed Jordan today, that was awesome. But I felt horrible because, like, out of nowhere, Sassy decided to try to fight Riddler. And then she was getting annoyed trying to fight MRL. And then she tried to fight me because I accidentally stepped on her toe. And just, it was really frustrating. I ended up yelling at the dogs and I felt really bad because my friend had to hear that. Because, I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm an abusive dog parent or something just because I yelled at my dogs. But that's what my brain tells me is that people will think that I'm a horrible pet parent. It's like, dogs are frustrating, and it's a combination of, like, depression, which is causing irritation. MRL's at an age where he acts much more bratty. And, of course, Sassy, she'll get grouchy sometimes, and I don't want her to hurt herself. So, all in all, it's just like, ugh. But, I love my dogs. I really do. Um, I felt like I was going to tell you guys something, but... Oh well. Oh yeah, I did see a fake service dog at Petco last weekend. That was great. No, it's Friday. Um, so Schnauzer in a blue vest, but they kept pulling away from the owner and barking and just being, eh. And then funny thing is, a woman that I know whose son is a service dog walked in. She had the dog with her. He, she wasn't servicing at the moment because she was trying to find a life vest. And it was like, compared to a legit service dog. This one, she, her worst offense was while at the register, she sniffed at a box of worms. That's it. Otherwise, she stood still. She kept looking to the woman. She didn't engage with other dogs. Like, she was great. And I'm like, here's your example of a fake service dog versus a real one. Fakes bother me so much. But, yeah. Oh, and I also learned... Tonight, the boys like green apples. Yay! Random, but oh well. So now, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I finally did a proper ending. Hooray! And thanks for dealing with me. <laughs> Hope you guys have had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, tell me something cool that happened today. If you didn't have any cool things, if you just laid in bed all day, tell me what you did in bed. Did you read a book? Did you watch YouTube? Whatever. Tell me one thing you did today. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Mr. Riddler. Good night, Mr. Emerell. And good night, Miss Sassy Girl.